Beast Home Simulator is a game about bees. Just like the name suggests, it is in fact a simulator. Beast Home Simulator has been around for over 6 years and I'd argue that the game was better in 2018 and 2019. So here is the downfall of Beast Home Simulator. To see the downfall of Beast Home Simulator, first we have to talk about what made the game so great. Let's go back to 2018 and take a look at what was popular. Simulators. They were everywhere. And it's no surprise since before simulators we had tycoons. Tycoons were the first real type of grinding games Roblox had to offer. But it was a very simple concept. You just had to stand there and wait for a generator to make you money. There were a lot of different names like Hero Tycoon or Goddess Tycoon or a lot of different names. But they all followed the same concept standing there doing nothing there just wasn't that much variety making the game boring when simulators came around things were way more fun a basic summary of simulators is that you have a tool that collects a currency and a backpack that holds it you then sell what your backpack was holding to get a new currency which is used to get a better tool to collect or a backpack to hold more this is great and all, but it eventually got boring. This all changed when some games added a new feature. Pets. Most notably, Pet Simulator. These pets gave special buffs making games seem so much more unique. But then every single game started employing them. Even so, the concept hadn't changed. The only thing that was new is a new thing to spend your currency on. Pets. So most simulators became really repetitive. Until on it. A developer came up with a new game, Beast Worm Simulator. What made Beast Worm so fun when it released was how much more different it was compared to other simulators. It didn't have super expensive game passes or the same thing as every other simulator. This game had an active community of players who were always helping each other. This was mostly because at the time, Onnit dropped updates every few weeks. This made the game so much more fun and engaging. Every mechanic in the game was super complex, containing several more mechanics in and of itself. For instance, sprouts. Seemed pretty simple, right? Well, there's nine different types of sprouts. A basic sprout, a rare sprout, epic sprout, a legendary sprout, a supreme sprout, a moon sprout, a debug sprout, a festive sprout, and finally a sticker sprout all giving completely different things and completely different amounts depending on their rarity. The game was super fun until, well, recently. Ever since 2022 when macros have been proven to be a super efficient way of playing the game, and Onnit started updating the game less frequently. I mean, we didn't get an update in 2023 if you don't count Beezer's Part 2. 90% of players at my level are just macroing. I mean like, half the players aren't even playing the game now. We haven't even gotten Beezmas yet, and when we do get it, Honest said we won't even get a Beezmas this Christmas. That means the next update after this Beezmas may be in December 2025. Although there's not much that can be done, I don't see this game ever being fun as it once was. The game no longer has its unique charm, and I don't see Onnit cracking down on macros anytime soon in the future. So there you have it, the downfall of Beast Swim Simulator.